I'm Katie Couric. Tonight, an apology from the family of the Virginia Tech gunman. In a statement, they write about feeling hopeless, helpless, and lost after the attack and say they never saw it coming. On campus and around the nation, a day of mourning. Gonzalez under fire. Republican support continues to dwindle, yet the White House continues to stand behind the Attorney General. And Assignment America, changing lives with a hot dog gotcha. and a smile. There you go, buddy. This is the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. Hello, everyone. In the days following the tragedy at Virginia Tech, the family of the gunman, Sung Hee Cho, went into hiding, apparently too distraught to see anyone. But late today, Cho's sister issued a statement filled with emotion, apologizing on behalf of the family and insisting they never thought he was capable of such violence. We are so deeply sorry for the devastation my brother has caused, is how the statement begins. It is a terrible tragedy for all of us, is how it ends. Cho's sister, Sun Kyung, works in the government office that manages American aid to Iraq. We are humbled by this darkness, she writes. We feel hopeless, helpless, and lost. This is someone that I grew up with and loved. Now I feel like I didn't know this person. She continues. We have always been a close, peaceful, and loving family. My brother was quiet and reserved, yet struggled to fit in. We